are state laboratories important in addressing environmental health? State laboratories are important in addressing environmental health because they are one of the few laboratories that really have the uh, expertise, the equipment, and the facilities to do the type of testing often required to investigate environmental and public health problems. How often do environmental health outbreaks occur? How often do we see like foodborne outbreaks? Okay. Foodborne outbreaks and other environmental outbreaks occur almost on a daily basis. Many of these do not get elevated to the point where it requires a major investigation, but almost on a weekly basis we're hearing about another multi-state foodborne outbreak or some form of contamination from a leak or some other chemical exposure. What um, services can environmental health lab provide versus the um, a, a state lab that's going to be dealing with more chronic health issues? Okay. The state environmental health labs uh, have uh, sophisticated equipment to identify environmental contaminants generally at a much lower level than what you would find in other laboratories within a state. In addition, the environmental health lab, uh, which is generally part of the public health lab in the state, uh, can rely on others within that lab to do types of testing that would otherwise not be available elsewhere. For example, our labs are uh, well set up to do bacterial typing at the subspecies level. This is important because uh, we need to be able to definitively link the identification of one organism from a source with the same organism from another source. And this is done with molecular methods in many of our laboratories. Are all state laboratories equal? Is there a, is there a standardization for all state laboratories? Uh, although there are are uh, 10 main criteria that all state laboratories try to uh, uh, work with. Uh, not all state laboratories have the same level of expertise. Many of the state laboratories are part of a state executive department, like a Department of Health, Department of Natural Resources, Department of Agriculture, and a few of our labs are actually part of uh, the, the state universities. Uh, those labs that are part of the universities generally have more of a research mission in addition to the traditional public health and environmental mission. Do you, uh, is there anything that the uh, CDC lab provides that the state labs do not? Do we need to have both a federal and a state laboratory system? Okay, the state public health labs work very well with the, the laboratories at CDC. In many cases, the Center for Disease Control has provided uh, training to our staff they provided methods, they provided technical assistance so that many of the tests can be performed at the state level and do not have to be sent to Atlanta. In some cases, however, uh, CDC uh, is a referral lab where states can only identify up to a certain point and from that point on the specimens are forwarded to CDC for analysis. What can a state lab offer that a private lab cannot? Are there any differences between the two? Well, a st uh, for example, a state lab will offer tests that are needed by public health programs but are not uh, the type of test that's needed in a sufficient number to make it economically feasible for a private lab. For example, I'm not aware of any private lab that would test animals for rabies. There just isn't any uh, uh, profit in doing that and the uh, there just isn't a need to have, have more than one or two labs in a state that has that type of capability. It's not needed very often, but when it is needed, it can often be a matter of life and death. And finally, what are the main points that you would like, that you believe that state legislators should know about the state environmental health lab system? Okay, the, the, the state and local po uh, environmental uh, laboratories are critical to providing data that's used to make uh, decisions. Uh, much of the data coming out of our laboratory uh, is the result of investigations or special testing that's being performed that often uh, is used to make uh, policy or to evaluate situations uh, in the state. These can be a public health, uh, the occurrence of an outbreak of some type, or exposure to a chronic uh, uh, chemicals in the environment that can cause illness and disease. So our labs play a key role in being uh, the responder to these questions when they come up.